little stronger with the brow. This looks a, the brow also looks a little bit reddish, a bit more kind of grey, a little okay. like grey brown, a little darker there. It's like a little masculine feminine. So you get the very masculine front with the bobby pin, the shine, and then the sort of romantic bit at the back, which is slightly 40, side parting. Very Ricky L. It's a kind of saucy, girly hair. Things that girls would like to wear. I know, and the little clip, so it has sparkle, has glamour without being over the top. For Sonia Riquel, it's a very, very simple look. All the girls get the same basic treatment for the look, which is a slightly glossy eye. We're making the eyebrow a little bit stronger, but still staying natural. This kind of high beige colour on the top of the cheek. On pale girls, it reads as a tone. On darker girls, it reads like a little highlight. And then I've got a custom palette of six different lips, and I'm assigning them to different girls as they come along. So that's not actually, it's quite a natural look, for, even though there's you know, colour happening on the face, it's pretty natural. I'm not doing any press, I'm sorry. No, okay. Thank you. We all love coming to Sonia Ricky L shows because she really puts on a great show. The girls smile when they come down the runway. Sonia Ricky L has been around for over 40 years. She's synonymous with Reeve Gauche. Gamin style and she does a beautiful sweater and you know it's fall so that means it's a really good time to see a Sonia Riquel show. It's a season of, uh, with a lot of mixture, it's a season with a lot of energy, it's a season with uh, a lot of dangerosity. It's a woman who is uh, extreme, she lives in an extreme world and she wants to make the most of it. She's aware, aware of what's going on, cautious and at the same time dangerous. She's into the desire, the desire of understanding, the desire of looking at the other, the desire to be seen. In other words, she used the clothes as, uh, you know, to show her body, to emphasize uh, whatever she's got in her mind. I think that Riquel, although they're totally dissimilar, is kind of like Paris's Armani in a weird kind of sense, but the feminine side.
I mean, she's been an institution for decades. And it's always a pleasure to come, or a secret guilty pleasure, to come to Rikiel because you see gorgeous, sexy girls having fun on the runway in really cute clothes. She loves a bit of marabou, she loves a stripe, but you know what, at this stage in the game, so do we. Fashion is so huge, all the proposition. Something that suits her, makes her look beautiful, makes her look the way she wants to look, because she is the one who decides. It's ironic, you know, it's, she's not interested about perfection or matching, she's interested about going further and being herself. It's like a party, the finale, and uh, they always look really beautiful, the girls. 